Hi right, Josh, uh, how, how's your hamstring? Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah, it's um, been four weeks now since since I did it and it's feeling good now, back in training, so looking to, to get back involved. Yeah, it's, you didn't miss many games you could have done because of the postponements, did you? But it's not a period you would have chosen to be out of over Christmas, so many games come thick and fast, is it? Yeah, but yeah, no, it, yeah, I don't think it's ever a good time to be out injured, but yeah, it worked out that there's, there are a lot of games over that period, but like you say, there was a few off with... with ice and snow and various things so didn't miss as many as I could have done but yeah still missed still missed four or five games so looking to just get back involved now as quick as I can yeah I'm not sure how many of the games you've seen where you've been injured probably the home ones but it's, they've not done too badly with that have they recently? the lads have done really well yeah no they, they, you know I mean we've got a good set of players here. I mean we had early in the season we had a period when like Wes was out and you know Pookie was out injured at the same time and we picked up good results then as well you know so I think we've got good players in the squad so no matter if we lose one or two players here and there you know the the lads can cope and do well so yeah no the lads have done really well yeah Accrington away the manager said it was probably one of the best performances so far this season what do you remember about that one um, not a lot to be honest so uh, 4-2 win and yeah two. I played I played left back in that one I think yeah yeah, um, yeah it, was, it was I think we went, yeah, we went into a lead very quickly didn't we we played very yeah. well in the first half and then we just sort of saw it through in the second half yeah it was yeah it was, it was a good result I mean you know those are the sort of places you've got to go in this league and, and get wins. It's the tough places like Accrington where it's you know the conditions are not always great and the, you know small small ground, small atmosphere. But yeah, it was a good, good result for us. Yeah, you went up there last year and, and lost four 0 they're, they're in a similar position this year. You know, not doing too badly considering the problems they've had off the field. But does that sort of show how far you've come that you've gone from losing four 0 to them to winning four two up there? I mean, just yeah. Generally, you look at where the team is this year, and you know um, where we are. The, it's massive this year. I think you know the improvement and what the job that the gap has done. The gap and Neil, it's been tremendous. And you know, I think he's just signed a new contract. The gaffer, I think so. You know, and shows you how well he's doing. The, the club value him. We all, you know, we're all working well for him, and, and hopefully, we can kick on from here. Yeah. Um, <coughs> have you had much chance to speak to the new new lads that arrived yet? Because I know he's been very careful to sign good characters and a lot of good. Lads and it seems to be a much better spirit around the squad this season. You know, so the new lads you expect them to be good characters as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, Phil, Phil, Phil Walsh. Walsh. Yeah, sorry, I can't remember his first name. <laughs> yeah, Walsh. He's um, been drive travelling in with us actually because he's living in Bristol at the moment with yeah. his dad. So yeah, obviously seen a lot of him and, and I know Ash from when he was here last year. So yeah, and, uh, you know, I think he's looking for the, a certain type of person, the, the gaffer, and and he, you know, he's so far he's bringing in that type of person and it's working well for us yeah last year you had Jules up front who, I mean I know Yates has always liked to try and play football but is it good to have somebody who you can hit it up to and you know he's going to give yeah. defenders a hard time if I you need it yeah I think it's a good option to have in this league I think every team I've played in that have won promotion out of this league we've always had that as an option and you know it just sometimes you do need that the pitches you know you can play at places where the pitches are not great and you know at times it's hard to play football and you need a bit more of a direct route and, and yeah he can give us that yeah you got yourself into a great position I think it's exactly halfway through the season now in terms of league games you've, you've won promotion from this league two or three times I think haven't you in the past yeah. so what, what do you think the key between now and then the season what are the key things to try and stay up there and you know get back into the top yeah, seven it's, it's sort of Battling it out, really. I mean, there's, there's times in, in promotion seasons where I've been in teams where we've, we've had great runs and we've gone on good winning streaks. But, but generally, it's just grinding it out week in, week out, keep being consistent, winning, you know, drawing away from home when you're not playing well, maybe, or picking up wins here and there when you're, when you're not doing so well. And then, and then before you know where you are, you keep doing that, you know, with the odd good game thrown in as well, and, and you'll get a run together, and then that's when it really, that's when it really kicks on. Yeah, and picking up things like Northampton away, which wasn't good the point. best performance. Yeah, that's point. it, exactly. Didn't lose again, and you know, it shows, it does show how far the team have come, and that's what it's all about in this league. I mean, I think the year we went up with Northampton, we spent the majority of the time in and around the playoffs, and then I think we just had a really good run right at the end. Sort of five or six wins, and that was what we ended up finishing second. So I think you just got to hang in there, keep keep doing well. I mean, you know, you're not going to play well every week, but if you can keep picking up points, then you're going to be there or thereabouts. Yeah. yeah and um, <coughs> there's a couple of decent sides of this league, Chesterfield yeah. particularly, but nobody looks like they're going to run away with it. Either do they? There's no. going to be big gaps. Yeah, it looks yeah fairly even really this year. You know, we've said that every team we've played, I don't think we've we've ever felt apart from possibly maybe Chesterfield away that we've you know that we shouldn't have got something from the games and, and that you know we've not had a chance so yeah it's, it's even and there's no one for us to be scared of definitely yeah. and the, the away record, record's amazing because Charlton had to come from behind to get a point against Southampton but virtually every game I think something like 10 out of 12 or 10 out of 13 you've, you've led away from home which is an incredible yeah. record Just yeah no it is yeah definitely I mean we, we, we do seem to start very well in games and uh, you know we just need to 
try and see that through. And I know it's something we've had, spoke about earlier in the season with the with the gaffer, you know, that we've been in a winning position a lot of times. And if we can turn a few more of those into to wins, we'll be yeah, we'll be right up there at the end of the season. Yeah, and you you, you went out injured on a bit of a low note, didn't you? Really, in that game against South Yeah, Saints, wasn't I know. It? It's been a long time <laughs> since I've been looking for a chance to sort of. Not just you know redeem how, you know, how myself for the for the game. I wasn't playing particularly well that day. None of us were, and we and we ended up losing. Yeah, and that was my last game. So yeah, I'm looking to just get back involved hopefully and uh, and get involved in a good winning performance. Yeah, you chose to <laughs> extend your football career this season. Have you you still doing your law practice this year? Yeah, yeah I'm still. Going? Yeah, it's hard work, but but I'm enjoying it. Yeah, and the, the club have been really good. They've given me the, the time to do that. So yeah, I'm enjoying it and just battling away with it really. Yeah.